Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here and today we are doing lesson 13.1 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math books. 13.1 is called Perimeter, so we're going to be learning how to find the perimeter of shapes today. Alright, let's go ahead and get on into the problem. It says Julio is putting a stone border around his rectangular garden. The length of the garden is 7 feet. The width of the garden is 5 feet. How many feet of stone border does Julio need? Then it gives us the definition of perimeter. It says perimeter is a distance around a shape. I always remember perimeter like from watching movies where they say secure the perimeter. That means they want somebody to go out and make sure that all the edges around their property, property are being watched. So the edges around a shape is the perimeter. And then it tells us to find how many feet of stone border Julio needs, find the perimeter of the garden. So what you do for perimeter is you just add up all the sides. So I'm going to do 7 feet plus 5 feet. Since this side right here is 7 feet, this side is exactly the same. So I can also know that it is 7 feet. And since this side right here is 5 feet and this is exactly the same, I know that this is 5 feet. So in order to find the perimeter, all I have to do is add 7 plus 7 plus 5 plus 5. So 7 plus 7 is 14. 5 plus 5 is 10. So 10 and 14 make 24. The perimeter is 24 feet. So Julio needs 24 feet of, board, of stone border to go around. Now there's another way to do it besides just this plus this plus this plus this. We can do 2 times the length, so 7 times 2 because there's 2 of them that are 7, and 2 times the width, so 5 times 2 since there's 2 5 feet. So that would be, we're going to do a different one down here. We're not in the same problem with Julio now. We're finding the perimeter of this rectangle using 2 times the length and 2 times the width. So the length is 12, so we'll do 2 times 12 is 24. The width is 8, so we'll do 2 times 8 is 16. And then we just add 24 and 16, which is... 40. So the perimeter of that rectangle is 40 and it's centimeters. Now we're going to find the perimeter of a square and the way that you can do this since we know squares are all the same size on each of the four sides we'll just do 4 times one of the sides. So 4 times 16. 4 times 16 is 64. So the perimeter is 64 and this is inches. All right, so just a quick recap. If you're finding perimeter, you can do it a couple different ways. Just add all four sides. Or if it's a rectangle, you can do 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. If it's a square, you just do 4 times one of the sides. All right, this is page 497, by the way. If you're in my class, you should have been filling out 497 in your big book. And now we're going to flip it over and do the top of page 498. Okay, 498 says use a formula. A formula is a mathematical rule that you can, is a mathematical rule. You can use a formula to find perimeter. And we already talked about this on the other page. P stands for perimeter. Perimeter equals 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. So we're going to practice that here with this rectangle over here. So perimeter equals 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. So we're going to do 2 times and we're going to look at the length. It is 18. So we'll put an 18 in here. And 2 times the width is 14. So we'll put a 14 in here. And then we just actually do the math. 2 times 18 is 36, 2 times 14, 28, and then I add 
36 plus 28 is 64. So the perimeter of this rectangle is 64 meters. So again, just to review the formula, 2 times the length. So we look at whatever the length is, multiply it by 2. Look at whatever the width is, multiply it by 2. Add those numbers together that you got from multiplying 2 times the length and 2 times the width. And that gives you the perimeter of a rectangle. If you cannot, for some reason, remember that formula, then just add all four sides. If this is 18, you know this is 18. If this is 14, you know this is 14. So 18 plus 14 plus 18 plus 14 will give you the same answer, 64. All right, so 13.1 is about perimeter, finding the outside of shapes. If you have any questions, leave me a message.